Hello, brothers and sisters of the light, fellow star seeds, way showers, light bringers, the change makers, the grid workers, and the awakened collective. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, with another message for you from the Ninth Dimensional Arcturian Council, as channeled by Daniel Scranton for August 29th, 2023. And the title of this message is Your Thoughts Do They Belong to You? And they begin greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are quite capable of letting go of what we can feel no longer serves us. We have had perspectives, ideas, and thoughts that we had to let go of at certain times in our evolution because we could feel how much they are holding us back and weighing us down. We understand that the environment you are there on earth requires you to do this quite a bit and we just want you all to know that it's not your thought when you think a thought that is heavy, unsettling, or even disturbing to you. You were born into that system where those thoughts and thought forms whose trains of thought and streams of thought existed prior to your arrival. If a baby was born into a room where people were smoking, you wouldn't blame the baby for inhaling the secondhand smoke. And yet you often feel bad about yourselves because of your thoughts. But your thoughts don't originate from inside your head. Your brain picks up on and interprets the energy that is that thought and you become aware of it in your consciousness. And then you have to decide whether that thought is one you want to keep thinking, whether you want to continue going down that train of thought, or whether it doesn't feel quite right to you and you want to let it go. These are the choices you have to make over and over there on earth because of the energies that were present when you were born and that continue to be present now. We just want to say to you all that has never been easier than right now to change your minds. It has never been easier than right now there on earth to tune into the thoughts that are going to serve you and humanity to a much greater extent than the ones that have been present, the ones you have been thinking and continuing to think. Awareness is the key because if you can be aware of your thoughts, you can let them go. And once you let go of a lower vibrational thought, you can get to the vibration that exists within you that attracted that thought to you in the first place. They don't just come to you randomly, of course. You were born around certain people, and those people were thinking thoughts. And those thoughts become easier for you to receive and translate and think of as your own. But then, at a certain point, you do hopefully realize that you have a choice and that you don't have to choose to think like those who raised you. You can think differently, and you can seek out that which is progress from the standpoint of your perspective and the standpoint of the entire human collective of which you are a part. Now is a good time to be paying attention to what you are thinking. Whether you want to keep thinking those thoughts and then being conscious and aware enough as you most certainly are to let go of those thoughts that certainly is what we recommend. Let them go and feel what's behind them. Feel the vibration breathe into it. If it's not a good feeling vibration, let that go through conscious awareness of it and how it feels. And you will put yourself in a better position to be accessing thoughts that feel better to you. Thoughts that intrinsically are better because they are vibrating at a higher frequency. And that is a simple way to change your life and your world. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. This inspiring message was channeled by Daniel Scranton. His own website is danielscranton.com. His YouTube channel is simply his name, Daniel Scranton. I will be able to post the words to this message below in the show more section. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, and I'm always proud and honored and so very grateful to be able to bring these powerful messages to all of you.